Okay, this is lecture four, problem two. And I want to talk about how to, in general, solve a problem in which, um, well, you have an equation that you know. And you have, uh, in this equation, there's three variables, A, R, and H. And you know two of them. You know A, and you know R. So it's an equation. We should be able to solve this for H and find out what H is. So this is a cylinder of a certain height and a certain radius. And the surface area of this cylinder has an equation. And, and there it is. So the 2 pi r square, that's the area of the two end caps. And the 2 pi r h, that's the area of the side bed. And together they make the, the total surface area of the cylinder. So in this problem, we know what the area is and we know what the radius is. And we want to find out what height will give us this area with this radius. OK, so it's a problem, an equation of three variables, and we know two. Now, if the problem we were trying to solve was find the area knowing radius and height, we would just enter this as a definition of A. We would say the variable A is defined as all of this stuff. But that's not the problem that we have to solve. In fact, this is the equation. Really, what we want to know is what's H. Well, this is the equation we have to work with. So we need to solve for H. And I want to show you how to do this in general. Very simple way. Um, click on the equation, and notice this is an equation. See, that's a bold equals. It's a control equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Not a definition. This isn't a colon equals. It's a bold equals, and it forms an equation. There happens to be only one variable in this expression and a bunch of variables in this expression, but still it's uh, an equation in the MathCAD sense of the word. So to solve this equation for h, here's how you do it. Click on the equation, click on the letter H, so it's selected. That's the variable we want. And then go up to the toolbar and choose Symbolics, Variable, Solve. And what MathCAD does is it creates a new expression. That's what H is. It would be very nice if it automatically made this into an equation, but oddly it doesn't. So here's what I want to do now. This is the second part of this process. Click on the, this expression. Press the space bar to select the entire expression, and then hit the colon key to input the um, definition operator, and then the letter H, and then enter to close the edit. I'll regenerate the screen. Okay, so if A is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r H, then isolating H is this. So what we've done is we basically just rearrange this. Right, it's a, you know, um, algebraically, but we let MathCAD do it for us, and then we've um, taken that expression and made not an equation, but a definition of H, because this can be evaluated directly. You can click on this expression anywhere you want, it doesn't matter, and press equals, and at that point in time, we both define H in terms of the other variables and evaluate it, and maybe we should put it in centimeters so the units match the other units. Okay, and that's the solution. So generally, I uh, click on the solution, right click, choose properties, highlight, and make it yellow. Because I think making your final solutions highlighted is a, is a good practice. Okay, so this is a very general methodology in this specific example that I want you to use. The methodology is um, put in the variables that you know, uh, identify what variable you don't know, it's H, Put in the equation that relates all three variables, or as many variables as you have, and then use this symbolics variable solve function to create an expression for the variable you've isolated. Then edit that expression to make it a definition, and evaluate it to get the number, and finally make the units whatever they need to be. Okay? This is the general process, and you'll find it very, very useful.